Can you walk us through the process of developing a script for a rubber ducky? Like, what's it like? What do you go through? How do you start? Um, so, you know, the answer to that has obviously changed as I've gone through the process of getting better at it myself, you know? So I guess it would probably be a different answer between like how I began and like what I'm doing now, just because the level of knowledge is different, you know? But um, if you wanted one generalized kind of blanket answer, though, the answer is just just blanket curiosity. That's really what it comes down to. You know, there's times that, uh, you know, we were talking about this before the call, but, you know, like I have pretty bad ADHD, so I have to do, like I always had to keep my mind busy. So it's not often that I can just watch a show on Netflix. I also have to be doing something on the other screen. So like while I'm watching a show on Netflix on the other screen, I'll be digging through either the registry, right? Or I'll be digging through the .NET framework in PowerShell, which both of those are just like, you know, expansive, like just forever, you know? So I'll just dig through there for a while until I see something that looks interesting. Like I found a, a speech recognizer module uh, recently, which is the um speech to text function which you're not supposed to have access to because it, it's supposed to be in the accessibility tool which they got rid of access to because we were putting it on the outside on the login screen if you guys remember so they made it so you don't have the file path set anymore but i went and found that inside of the net framework and just got direct access to it so um spoiler alert um my next video is going to be on something called the voice logger it's kind of like a keylogger. I won't say more than that, but um, uh, yeah, I got the idea for that just because I was rummaging through the registry. Uh, so it truly really comes down to just curiosity. Between going through those two things, every time you see something you don't know what it is, Google it and then be like, how can I use this? And then you're like, okay, I know how I can use this. Now take a step back and be like, okay, well, how can I use this as a hacker who's trying to implement this as some sort of rubber ducky script? And it's the process of going through each of those individual items as you're discovering them and then playing it back through the mindset of someone who's developing with it. And, uh, you know, you'd be surprised. You know, you, you find something like that. You have speech synthesizer module, like, what can I do with this? Okay, so I. Oh, no, no more spoilers. I apologize. I almost went too far. But yeah, you, you, you get the point, though. Uh, just just be curious. I love it. I love it. It's sort of like how you can, for example, find a new cross-site script and go through the RFCs of how HTML is interpreted by different browsers. And through some weird ambiguity, you can find some kind of existence. Exactly. There's, you keep poking, and it's going to make a hole somewhere. And if you can make a hole, you know, you can make a... Uh, you know, a crater. <laughs>